Hi, I'm Captain Doug Stanford with Texas Fish Tips this is your weekly fishing report. Well, there's still some sheep set over to good old Phoenix docks. There's a few bull reds about 30 foot of water. They like them big shrimp. If you hook them in the head, drop them down pretty close to the bottom, and big bull reds really like eating them. They wouldn't hit anything else the other day, but that's what they seem to like. If you take a shrimp, throw it up on these rocks early in the morning down through here, there's been some pretty good uh, redfish mixed in, some oversized and some slots and some undersides but there is some reds in there and there's also one or two trout mixed in same way if you come around a good old martin midstream right here where these old rocks are right down through here it's been a whole lot of sheep said we've had some black drum had some keeper black drum we've had some oversized black drum we even caught a grouper out there the other day so there's just no telling what you're going to find in there and they like that shrimp uh, we've caught some of those oversized drum in there as well they seem to like to cut crab but those sheep said they're eating that shrimp. And that's what I've been throwing. And there's just about everything else in the world in there. Then if you want to, come on out here into that south jetty. Uh, if it's not too windy, be careful out there. But there's been fish all up and down that south jetty. Uh, there's a little wing dam right here by the observatory right here. Been holding some nice redfish on incoming tide. And if you'll get out on either side of that south jetty, there's been fish all up and down. You don't have to throw way out. Throw right at your feet maybe five to ten foot of water right next to the rocks and there's been some good fish same way if you get on that jetty boat get on this north jetty you can use your boat out here but if you get on that north jetty uh, all the way down these rocks has been holding some fish it don't have to have a magic spot they're all over it if you want to walk all the way to the end it's a long walk but go right ahead uh, but there's some good fish they all seem to like it live shrimp free line if you use a light weight or if you use like a uh, lemon rig with a cork uh, maybe set about five six foot down it works pretty good there's some houses right here we call it dolphin point been holding some sheep's head some black drum and some redfish in there all on shrimp try not to tie up to the pilings uh, use your trolling motor anchor out from it whichever but there's been some good fish in there this whole wall down charlie's pasture has been holding some nice fish on these rocks and these banks down through here especially the washout spot right here with the bulkheads but hold some nice fish if you'll get all the way in here and come here to piper channel right here at the end of these little rocks but hold some nice fish in down through here when it gets too windy it's a good place to hide out there's deep water next to shallow water and just anywhere's down through on these edges either side has been holding some fish you don't catch a lot but you catch one or two there is a few schools of black drum in there mixed in there as well but keep on coming on down into this area right here and it's been holding some black drum and some reds right here just no wake zone get your trolling motor down and just look for them uh, you may have to fish them a little bit don't catch that move on up and keep doing it but this edge right here this corner it's been holding some black drum down through it and they're scattered uh, you may catch two or three you may catch a hundred it just depends on where that school's at but they move up and down either side of that channel Right over good old Flato Cut. Right on down through here. You come in the entrance. Right in this area has been holding some redfish. They seem to like that mullet. You can catch them on shrimp as well. You catch a lot of smaller ones. Uh, sometimes when they're getting real finicky, you have to peel that live shrimp, put them on a hook, and they'll bite it. But the live mullet, and sometimes you take that live mullet and smash his head, cut his tail, worm him on the hook, chunk him out there, put it in rod holder, and they like it better that way. It just has to be what they want at that time. Also, uh, cut shad works anywhere down through here. If you got a skinny water boat or if you want to jump out of your boat, go wading. It's a great place to go. All right, over behind Ransom Island. These islands right down through has been holding some redfish. They're not concentrated. You just have to go fish a little bit, 15, 20 minutes, move a little bit, and do it again, uh, and just set up and just keep on doing it that way. These whole islands right down through has been holding them too. It doesn't seem to be any specific pattern, any magic spot. You just find you a pothole where there's not a lot of grass. Throw that mullet in there. Uh, put it in a rod holder and set back and do a little beer drinking. It seems to do a little beer drinking fishing that way. It works pretty good that way. You can get you a few drum in here. There has been a school right here in this little cut. Um, and they like that live shrimp or if you got some dead shrimp. But I usually have live shrimp is usually what I'm using. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Doug Stanford.